Hi, African Violet time. I know we've I've showed you a lot of different pictures and postings of my African Violets and I'm actually going to transplant some of the probably 11 that I bought the other day and I had a couple more that were from before. So I wanna show you what I do and, and how I actually uh, transplant them and what I do as far as water. No guarantee, I'll say that right up front that um, that what I do is the right way to do it. If someone's got better tricks, I'm, I'm always uh, willing and wanting to learn. But I'll show you what's worked for me. Um, I, I'm wearing these gloves right now. They're just like little exam glove things. And it's not because I don't, but because I care about getting my hands dirty. It's because my hands are really dry. And if I don't, um, they're gonna be horrible. So here's an African violet that I bought at the grocery store. I happen to love this particular store and I wait for them and that's why I buy a ton of them. But anyway, as you can see, it came in plastic. There's another plastic pot inside. Um, what I have found most successful is using a clay pot, which is what I have right here. Put a little hole in the bottom. There is a hole in the bottom, but there's a tag there. Drainage is really, really important. So what I'm gonna do is Take this little guy out of here very carefully because the leaves are so fragile. Oh, there we go. Okay. Some of these flowers are already kind of droopy and they're dying. So I just take some scissors and kind of give them a little haircut. Just trim them up a little bit. Nothing too major. Okay. So, uh, there's another one. All right. So, I take newspaper and put it at the bottom of the clay pot so that when I water, the dirt doesn't go directly through. Here's the base, well worth the money, which is only there, you know, they're cheap. This goes in here, and then I have my newspaper, like that. I bought some African violet potting soil because I made a big mistake of buying really good soil, planting soil, but it was too dense and I killed probably about four African violets and I was really mad at myself because I should have known better, but you know, I was lazy. So, oh, I'm sorry. So here's some soil. It's very, very light and airy. As you can make this shade. Okay. It's got vermiculite, nice and light. So I put the violet in the pot. They always like to kind of feel their roots this is a perfect pot. Something like this would be too large. I, I've never had success with um, putting one in a pot that was too large. So this guy's a little bit wobbly. So then I just kind of feel around and I get it centered. Use some of my dirt. Turn it around. Turn it around. Then, you know, I just thought about this. If you had like an old, say, a, an old brush, a paint brush, you know, like a little one that you do crafty stuff with, even maybe like a blush brush or something old, I think I get the dirt off of the leaves. Try not to get it in my coffee cup. There we go. Okay, so that's, there we go. That's good. Now, what I'm going to do is, one of the most important things is um, to not water from the top. So I'm going to use this very high-end watering system, or, or maybe this one. What I'll do is, I'll put it in the bottom, and I put water in there, as you can see. And then the water will go up from the bottom. But I just told you I never wa that not to water from the top. I'm going to. What I really mean is don't ever water near the crown. I'm gonna poke a hole with my finger or just even like this. With the soil being so light and airy, it's really good. And then I'm just gonna put some water in there. The real trick is you never wanna get it near the crown because that will kill the plant faster than anything. So we'll just do that. And I'm not gonna overwater it tonight because they're gonna be a little shocky. I do have some plant food in it and I never really use plant food that much, but 
since I lost four because of my um, bad choice in, to in soil, I'm now being more careful. So here we go. This guy is ready to go. All done. So there. Now, if you should break um, a leaf or something, if you're a little obsessive about plants like I am, or if you want the challenge, what I've done is I took a, this was actually um, a dessert cup thing that I asked for. You know, I thought I was gonna make a little mini dessert so I didn't eat too much dessert, but you can just eat three and it's really the same as having one big dessert. <laughs> so now I use these for my plants. I, I set this in a window. These will root, and once they root, I put them in a little pot, like this, and put soil, and usually I put like a little baggie or something over it so it creates its own little humidifier, like, you know, little system, and they'll start to grow. This was a leaf. I think the, the main leaf broke off, and these are the babies, so now I have a new violet plant. Not that I need any more, but I have a hard time throwing them out. So as you can, oh, these are my older ones. I'm gonna take this, you can see this thing is just way overgrown. Same with this one, it's very hard to even um, water it anymore. So I'm gonna move it to the next size up and I'm a little nervous about it. It's gonna go in a bigger one and hopefully it will do well. And I think that is it. So you can see African violets, the main thing is um, light airy soil, uh, a good clay pot for drainage, water, if you water from the top, poke a hole and don't water near the crown and water from underneath. When it's, uh, the soil dries out a little bit, water again. And good luck. Send me pictures.